Okay, back again with a summary of another TOG, this time from the July 2021 issue, um, and it's titled Antenatal Venous Thromboembolism. So VT is the leading cause of maternal mortality. Um, there's five-fold increased risk in pregnancy, um, 20 to 60-fold increased risk in the first three months postpartum. Um, factors such as the 8, 9, 10 and fibrinogen increase in pregnancy. Um, there's also decreased levels of antithrombin and protein S levels with decrease in fibrinolytic activity. All of this means that um, it, there's increased predisposition to um, developing a clot. So, maternal mortality, um, lethal PE, 1.39 per 100,000, and this is a figure from the 2014 to 2016, 90% of these women had identifiable risk factors. Prevalence of um, confirmed PE in um, women with suspected PE can range between 2 and 7.1%. So the article then goes on to talk about um, DVT and PE in a little bit of depth. Um, so symptoms of, um, of DVT are unilateral leg swelling, pain and erythema. Um, treatment is um, low molecular weight heparin um, and, that, and this should be commenced as soon as DVT is suspected. Investigations include compression duplex ultrasound of the deep veins of the symptomatic leg. Um, if there is persistent clinical suspicion despite a negative Doppler, then this should be repeated on day three and day seven. Um, and For um, iliac vein um, thrombosis, consider an MRV or contrast venography if duplex ultrasonography is inconclusive. Okay, so for PE, symptoms include um, shortness of breath, pleuritic chest pain and hemoptysis. ECG um, can show T-wave inversion, S1Q3T3 pattern um, and right bundle branch block. Um, these findings can be uh, present in 40% of women with an acute PE. Um, chest x-ray can rule out other respiratory problems. Um, if there is suspected PE and has and they've got signs of DVT, then a lower limb compression um, ultrasound can be done. If DVT is confirmed, a diagnosis of PE can be assumed and no further radiological tests are needed. If there is suspicion of PE without symptoms and signs of DVT and there's negative ultrasound of, um, of, of the lower limb, then um, a VQ scan or a CTPA um, may be needed to, um, is needed actually to confirm the diagnosis. Um, in pregnancy, there are some normal ECG changes like sinus tachycardia, left axis deviation, ectopic beads or T-wave inversion. Okay, so um, VQ and CTPA. So VQ scanning um, slightly increases the risk of childhood cancers. CTPA um, exposes mum's breast to increased dose of radiation about 20 to 100 times greater than what they would receive for VQ scan. Um, D-dimer is a fibrin degrada degradation product. Um, D-dimer... Um, does not um is is not used in pregnancy and should not be ordered um indiscriminately in pregnant patients so low molecular weight heparin should dis should be discontinued 24 hours prior to planned delivery postnatally it should be started um at least after 4 hours um following spinal anesthetic or after the epidural catheter has been removed. If there is high risk of hemorrhage, intravenous unfractionated heparin should be used. One of the reasons of using this is it's got shorter half-life and there is reversible product, which is protamine sulfate available for it. Okay, so side effects of low molecular weight heparin include osteoporotic fractures, 
um, and allergic skin reactions, heparin-induced um, thrombocytopenia in pregnancy, incidence of this is um, less than 0.1%. Um, before starting antibody on low molecular weight heparin, um, blood tests like FBC, Usenes, LFTs and a co coagulation screen should be done. Um, low molecular weight treatment um, should be continued until delivery for six weeks um, postnatally and until at least three months of treatment. Um, prophylactic low molecular weight heparin, there's a risk of um, APH of 0.5%. If you then compare this to the treatment dose of low molecular weight heparin, the risk is 1.5%. Um, risk of PPH with prophylactic is 1% and risk with treatment um, dose low molecular weight heparin is 2%, so double the risk. So if there is acute thrombus um, at delivery, at the time of delivery, then um, an IBC filter um, can be considered for these patients.